Okay, now that I've showed you how Kahoot works, I want to go ahead and show you how to create an account and then how to create questions within that account. First thing you need to do is go to getkahoot.com and you'll see it up here in my URL address. If you have not created an account, you would click on get my free account. You would select your role and then you'd fill out some information. Your username, if you create a special username, then you can use that to log in versus writing in your entire email address. And then you type in your email. You can select your email or, excuse me, you can select your work email. If you want to use a personal email, that's fine as well. And then your password. So once your account is created, you will be able to sign in. And so I've already signed in, so this is what it's going to look like. On the top left corner, you'll see New K. So when I click that, it means I'm going to create a new Kahoot. And you can see, you can watch the intro video as well if that helps. And so then I want to create new Kahoot. So it's giving you choices, a quiz, a discussion, or a survey. Today I'm going to show you quiz. So I'm going to give the quiz a name. This is something that you'll want to recognize, and uh, so maybe you need to include the class period or the specific objective, um, whatever you want to do. So I click Go. And now up top, I can type in my question. Oops. I can add in a file. I can add in a video to show. I can select whether this is points or no points question. I can give it a limit, so if questions need less time or more time, you can make that selection as well. Then on the bottom, you'll see some choices. So I'm going to write the days. And then to select the right answer, I'm going to click, instead of incorrect, I want to make sure that it says correct. I can go ahead and add a question. And go ahead and do the same thing. Once I'm done, oops, sorry, I pushed the wrong button. Once I'm done, I can select save and continue. And then it shows my questions, it shows how many seconds, how many choice options I have, so it's just kind of a review. If I see a mistake, I can click edit, that will take me back to so I can edit. Save and continue again. Here is where you can change the language, if you want it to be public or private. Your primary audience, oops, wrong choice. If I want to make a description, I can. If I want to change the difficulty, I can do that. I can have tags on it, so when doing a search, it will come up. Save and continue. I can give it a cover image, not necessary. You can embed it into a, a YouTube video to be displayed in the background. So you have some different options there. And then click Done. They're not required. So this is what's going to look like. And when you get ready to share with your students, you can go to Play Now. And that's when the screen shows up that gives the um, what the quiz's name is and the display information. That, and you can make changes to those if you want. But I'm just going to click launch because I'm ready to share with my students. So now my students will go to kahoot.it and they will type in their name and then this code. And when I click start now, that's when you'll see what I had showed you in the faculty meeting. And this is waiting for players, so I can't start now since I don't have any players. So that's just a quick overview with Kahoot and how to set up your account and create questions. I hope you found that helpful. If you have questions, please remember you can contact me to give you uh, support, whether it's just quick questions or coming out and doing face-to-face. -face. Whatever you need, we're ready to do it. So um, go ahead and have fun with this, and until next time, thank you.